So you want to become a real estate investor. Well, you don't know what to do. You don't know where to go. You don't know who to learn from. Come on in. I am going to be bringing you on my journey from step one all the way to my first property. I have created this video podcast called Invest to Rest to bring you guys along to show you everything I'm doing to get myself to the finish line of being an investor so that I can retire early and live the good life. Most of you already know me as Amber the Notary or Amber on Demand where I'm sharing tips on how to become an entrepreneur or own a notary business. But this particular channel is for all you investy besties, all you real estate heads, all of you that are curious on how to start that journey. And so today is the first installment of that video. As you can see, it is a informal video because I am actually going to be sharing the first step that I'm doing in order to create this business. Um, I am treating this real estate investment journey as a business. And so therefore my first step is going to decide on the business structure for my business. So you all know that you can either be or have your business structured as a sole proprietor, LLC um, or corporation or partnership. I'm choosing to go the LLC route for my own reasons, for my own business. I already own two other LLCs, so this process is not new to me. However, I am gonna break it down and tell you exactly what I'm doing so that you can learn and you can do this yourself as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to my Secretary of State website, look up the requirements to make sure everything is still as it was the last time I opened up an LLC. Then from there, I'm going to truck it on over to my friends at Inc file and have them file my LLC for me. Now, the reason I'm not doing it myself is because A, they're gonna do it for me for free, and B, I know that they're gonna make sure all the documents are filed correctly, everything is written correctly according to what I tell them. And if you're wondering, the thing about Inc file is the service is free, however, you still have to pay your state fees. So I'm in Texas and the state fee to open an LLC is $300. So in a minute here, when I log into the um, Inf Inc file website, I'm gonna put all of my information, my business name, um, everything that I want. I'm gonna put my registered agent's information on there. And then when I get to the end, that's where you'll start seeing the fee for your state. You can learn your fee from your state on your own without going through a third party vendor like Inc File just by visiting the Secretary of State website um, in your state. So, however, if it's done for me for free, it's a service they provide and they provide it quite well. I did link them down below in the description if you wanna check them out so that you can set up your next LLC. The only things that you might wanna consider as an add-on are business address or continuing their registered agent service. Now, one thing about their registered agent service, that is also free for the first year. And so you may wanna consider that um, up until you're a little bit more versed on how to run your business, what the role is of a registered agent. Um, and then you can take over that on your own after a year. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start filling out this application and I'll bring you guys on to show you. All right. So after you would click the link down below and you get to their website, I'm just gonna show you how easy it is in the beginning. So I'm gonna just click launch my corporation here. And here's where I'm going to choose the structure. That's where I was talking about before. I am choosing to do LLC. However, once I get to a certain point, I will transfer over to an S corporation, which I already have in one of my other businesses. So I'm well aware of the benefits of that. But to start out, I'm doing LLC. Here is where you're going to pick your state. Easy as pie. I'm gonna go all the way down to Texas, guys. Okay, so here is the pricing plans for Ink File. So this one is free because it's only charging me the state fee, okay? The package free is zero, the package fee is zero dollars. Um, and so they're calling this the silver package. For me, this is all I would need because I am well versed in 
the process of an LLC, how to maintain my LLC, how to be my own registered agent. As you can see, they offer this free registered agent uh, service for one year. Now I'll briefly go over these other packages should this be something that you're interested in. The gold package is $4.99. That means $300 for your filing fee and the extra package or the extra things or add-ons. The extra add-ons is going to be $1.99. And so with their gold package, it looks like you are going to get all of these other um, things um, added in. So you're going to get the IRS form 2553. You're going to get an operating agreement, banking resolution, lifetime company alerts, online dashboard. You are going to get a business bank account included guys. This is crucial, crucial, crucial. Many of my students in my notary Academy and my mentorship program are raving about how they are really doing well at ink file, adding all of these services at the same time or all in one package, I should say. Then you also get get business tax consultation okay to me this is well worth the 499 however if you want to do all of these other things like go ahead and file your EIN on your own create an operating agreement on your own you can do that and just pay the state fee let's take a look at their highest plan here called platinum and it looks like it's 599 299 for the package fee and then 300 for the state fee and so the extra things that you will get with the platinum package are business contract templates, next day filing, meaning um, these options here, you may wait a few days to a couple weeks to get your final, final filing documents. Um, you can add on a domain and, an, and a business email address, and then all of the other things that you would get here in the gold package. So honestly, both all three packages, I can see value in it. It kind of just depends on how um, versed you are on opening a business and if you want how much you want your hand held while you're in doing this process. So for me, I'm gonna go with the silver package um, just because I'm very familiar. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and fill all my information in and then I'll get back with you as soon as I'm done uh, filling this out. Okay, I'm back. So now that my LLC is filed, I am going to go ahead and wait until they let me know everything is filed and taken care of. So my next steps are going to be to log in to irs.gov website and create a EIN number. Then I'm going to go carry that EIN number and my formation documents for my business and get a business address. Um, and like I said, again, you can get a business address with ink file if you use their services, but I'm going to use the business address where my other businesses are located so that it's all in one central area to make it easier on me. After I've obtained my business address for this LLC, I'm going to then scurry on over and open up a business bank account for this LLC because as you know, you need to keep your business and your personal finances separate at all times and why not start from day one. So once I have gotten my business uh, bank account established, then I'm going to head over to Duns and Bradstreet and make sure I can get my business credit file going and updated and start my journey for future funding and future grants and things like that. The things I'm sharing with you today are not things I've learned from my real estate investor mentor or my group that I'm working with only because this is something I already knew and this is what I teach already to my students um, for other businesses and for notary businesses. On another note, I did want to touch back and talk about business bank accounts. For those of you that are maybe stuck on that part, I'm only aware of this because many of my students do tell me quite a bit that they can't get a business bank account or their bank is giving them a hard time. Um, so the two that I recommend if your current banking institution is not able to give you a business bank account for whatever reason or you don't want to pay their fees, you can can go online to what's called bluevine.com. They are an online banking institution 
um, and they will accept your um, business formation documents, your EIN, your business address, and create a business account for you within the same day, if not the next day. This is the exact steps that I took my first business. Now all of my business bank accounts stay at um, a federal credit union. Um, and then I do have one additional bank account that's a business account. Another account or business bank account that you can look into to open up is called Novo, N-O-V-O.com. Again, they're another online banking institution that will, once you give them your biz business documents, they will open a business bank account for you. Then adding on to that, sorry, I forgot to say this before, the business address or the virtual business address companies that I always recommend you look into that are verifiable and that will not get rejected are Regis, iPostal if it is a brick and mortar building, and Anytime Mailbox, Alliance. Those are the basic things you're gonna need to set up your business. So after this, it's gonna get to the good stuff of me just diving in and learning as much as I can so that I can make good choices and better informed decisions as far as what my next steps are. All right, so I'm back because I did go ahead and go through my first module on my learning journey or my training that I did invest in. I'm so excited. It's all starting to come together. It's becoming a reality. I can feel it. I have manifested this for a while. I've been talking it into an existence and here it is, it's finally happening. What I do wanna end this video with is asking you where you are on your journey. Are you already an investor? Are you very experienced? Are you a newbie? Are you just here to learn with me? Are you just here to vibe with me? What are your goals for following me on this video podcast? and what would you like to learn? Tell me in the comments, maybe some topics that you want me to cover. I am gonna be pretty detailed as far as my learning goes and sharing with you each learning module, the decisions that I'm making from what I learned from that. And they're gonna be my choices for my journey and you can learn from it too to help you grow in maybe your investor journey or any whatever it is that you plan to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. It's been great. I'll see you guys again probably in a couple of days. Like I said, I have got to get this training started so that I can be well on my way to putting in those contracts. Thank you for joining me here on Invest to Rest. I will see you guys next time. Have a great day.